Hey boys, what's poppin' and be here, and today I'm going to show you how to change your language in League of Legends to English in 2022. That's right, I've noticed a lot of people are having issues after 2022's update of the League of Legends client when the new season started, and that some methods I used in my old videos are not working anymore, but fear not, I figured it all out. There's one way that still works and it works perfectly until this day, meaning it will make it seem like you're playing on an English-based server, no differences whatsoever. Anyways, let's get right into it. Before we get into it, real quick, I'd like to answer two of the comments I get most on these types of videos. First comment is, if I change my language to either Korean slash Japanese slash Chinese or English, can I only change the voices and nothing else? And the answer is no. They used to be a thing before, however, it's sadly not a thing anymore. It was a voice changer for League that stopped being supported two years ago or so, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a new thing out there, I'll make sure to do my research if there is. But if there is something, I'm not even sure whether it's safe or not, so let's keep it safe, boys. Talking about safety here, the other comment goes, Hey Amber, if I use your way to change the language of my client and game, will I get banned? Well, thing is, I cannot guarantee it's 100% safe, but the only thing I'm gonna say is that I've been using this for years years and most of the people I know use it as well and nothing happened. Yes, it is technically against Riot TOS to modify the game, but by changing your language in League you're not getting any advantage over your enemy in any way. Only thing you're doing is sort of changing the look of the game in a way that doesn't really give you any advantage, so I don't see why Riot would ban people that would simply change their game language. But of course if they announce that they will start banning people, I'll make sure to take down this tutorial and yeah. Anyway, enough of rambling, let's find get into it okay so now that we are on the desktop first things first what we want to do is start our league of legends client just simple as that and now we're going to go ahead and log in now the purpose of that was just me showing you that my ryan client is indeed japanese and my league of legends is japanese and i want to turn it to english so basically we're going to go ahead and do that in this tutorial the thing you want to do first is pretty much click on this x button in the top right corner and click on sign out so do not click on exit click on sign out instead we should be brought to riot client once again and that's where we want to leave it at and we want to click on this red x button same corner same stuff and we should be brought back to desktop after that in order to change our language we need to access league of legends directory there are two ways you can do that first way is if you have a league of legends shortcut on your desktop that's pretty easy then i have it right here so what i need to do is simply right click on it and click on properties open file location and boom it should take me to this folder riot client now once we get to the riot client folder this is technically not what we are looking for what we are going to be looking for is league of legends folder and the way to find that is once we get here you want to click on riot games one step back and you'll find here league of legends along with valorant if you have valorant installed so pretty much just open this and this is what we need we're going to scroll down until we see league client and this is pretty much what we are looking for let me explain the other way pretty much all you have to do is open your file explorer go to your computer and depends on which local disk you have League of Legends installed I have it on C it's going to be under this folder here Riot Games it could be that you put in program files or not it doesn't matter usually by the default it is going to be on local disk C or D whatever you put it like right after you open it so um, I'm going to click on Riot Games and there we go not the Riot Clan but League of Legends that what we need Next up, what you want to do, and this is a very important step, is scroll down until you see leakclient.exe. If you don't have extensions hidden, if you do, it's just going to say leak client. What you want to do with it is pretty much right click and create a shortcut. Now, this might seem like a silly step, but trust me, this is the most important step and you need to do that. So make sure to create a shortcut. Next up, we're going to put it on our desktop. And I know the icon is weird, but do not worry. It will change to the live version once you open it. So do not worry about the icon. Now all you can do is delete your old League of Legends icon, you can put it in the recycling bin and rename this uh, shortcut to League of Legends. So let's go ahead and do that. After we've done that, this is now one of the most important steps as well. If you do this wrongly, it's not going to work. So please uh, follow what I do and everything should be fine. So what we want to do to that fresh shortcut we just made, we want to right click to it and click on properties. And this property window will pop up with this target box and this is where the magic happens. So what you want to do is go all the way to the right make one space two lines write in locale equals en underscore gb 
capital. So make sure GB is capital. That's it. After that, you want to click on apply and you want to click on OK. What this will do is pretty much change the language of your client to English. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's run our League of Legends shortcut and see what happens pretty much. And there the icon changed. We are live. What we want to do right now is sign in simply. And voila, as you guys can see, it is here and everything is all good. The language is English so far. I'm just going to go ahead and enable the sound of the launcher. I'm also going to go into a game and test all of this. So keep that in mind. Make sure to not be afraid if your launcher will be downloading something. It is going to be downloading voice packs from League of Legends and text and so on. I don't even know what is it downloading, but it's always downloading when I change the language. So keep that in mind. It's usually going to be very fast. If you have a fast internet, it's around 60 megabytes. It's nothing really you won't even notice it um let's go into a custom game and test it out so as promised i'm creating a custom game on summoner's rift we are going to add a few bots just in case playing irelia as usual and um, has to be in every tutorial so the voice is so far in english that's pretty good let's check the announcer and everything else this is how the loading screen looks like in english and there we go um level up let's check the shop Everything English, the item description, it's perfect. Voice lines as well. And there you guys have it. But in case you do not like English, I'm also going to show you guys how to revert back the changes because it can be quite complicated. So if you want to go back to your original language, which will be me going back to Japanese, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. So let's get out of the game and uh, yeah, and we'll be brought back to the launcher. What you want to do is again, click on the X button on the top right and sign out. Do not exit. Just make sure you sign out and you get back to this right client. After that, we'll just quit it and we'll be back to our desktop. After we closed our launcher, what we want to do is basically same step that we did to change our language. What we need to do is uh, go to a League of Legends directory. There is no other way to do this, by the way. This is how you have to do it, because no matter what kind of shortcut of League of Legends you may open, it will be to the language you just changed it to. So uh, go back to the League of Legends directory. I explained that in the like step number two. You can just go back and look for it if you don't know how to do or I did it too fast for you. You, and you're gonna find lead client.exe what you want to do is right click on it and create a shortcut once again because as you guys can see here if you go to properties um, on our newly created shortcut it's uh it changed the target box completely to launch patch line live so it's not the same as it used to be at all what we need to do is as i said create a new lead client shortcut we'll put that on our desktop we can delete our shortcut that we've created just a few minutes ago and put this new one once again rename it the league of legends after we've done that we want to right click on it properties and again, in the target box, we'll go all the way to the right and type in your desired language code, which is, I guess, the language you were using. So locale equals JA underscore JP capital. That's Japanese. That's a code for Japanese. You should be able to see the codes on the right hand side of the screen right now. Hope that will help you out. And meanwhile, I'm just going to launch my League of Legends and show you guys that it is back to Japanese. So just log in real quick to confirm. And boom, we back to our homeland. It's back in Japanese. Everything works just fine. So that was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out most importantly. So until the next time, peace out.